get this grip. There's a couple things I don't like about this. Number one, when you try and get too deep, you can, as you're reaching deep, you can see that your hand just naturally starts to turn this way and it takes your blade off of the neck. I'm not worried about getting too deep. I will tighten the distance between my hands with my second grip, all right? So the other thing too is that, <clears throat> I, so I wanna have my blade up against the neck right away. So I'm not gonna reach, uh, reach too deep and let my hand turn. I'm gonna reach over here and just get a nice grip on the lapel, good firm grip, and be able to have my forearm placed against the, the neck right there. The other thing I think that I don't like about this uh, traditional style of getting the, the cross choke is that when you're sitting square, it's very difficult to actually like rotate your forearm in enough to get a good your blade directly against the neck. And I think that's why a lot of people just naturally have a bad setting here. The thumb is pointed sort of up and the back of the hand is here and then they'll make the adjustment later when they come across and try and rotate their hand. Um, I don't like to do that because you can see that like there's no bone here connecting your wrist to your hand, right? It's not, there's not a lot of strength right there and that's actually how you get carpal tunnels from that bending. So once this choke gets tight, it's very difficult to hold the grip with your hand and then rotate your wrist without straining, without straining that in your wrist. So I like to have that set early in, in these kind of chokes. So the problem is when I'm trying to get the blade set, you can see I kind of have to bring my elbow across and that sort of makes my shoulders sink a little bit. And I'm a little bit off balance here, besides just not having base, I've kind of compromised my balance a little bit and making myself too susceptible to being rolled. So it's, it would be easier if I sort of am battling here, getting his, his gi loose, and in the process, I kind of move myself in a little bit of a diagonal like this. Now my, my, this arm is naturally a little closer to this side, and it's a little bit easier for me to come right in here and have good positioning of my blade right away. I'm also a little bit turned this way, so I feel like I'm less susceptible to rolling anyways, but I, I don't have to compromise my position as much to turn my, my blade. So I just, I try and get a little bit of an angle, I will just come in here and get my blade set. I'm not, I'm not trying to reach behind his neck too much. I just have a nice good, good grip here. The other thing is that I really want to have my forearm, my hand curled in like this strong. I don't want to have my wrist bent back. So I'm just setting my blade and just putting it right up against his neck just like this. Now the other part is that I don't want to do a face scrape here because you can see that his, his head and neck is aligned perpendicular to his shoulder line right now. And if I just scrape, his head is gonna stay in place, in the same place on the mat, but just move his chin here. So his chin's getting out of the way, but this angle right here is still only 90 degrees. <clears throat> if I put my elbow on his forehead and I roll his head, I'm doing two things. All right, I'm opening up this angle and I'm also forcing his neck over, over this blade more. It's increasing the pressure here on this blade. So I'm gonna pin his head to the mat with my elbow and roll his head over and just keep it pinned the whole time. I don't want to reach here and let him pull it back off. It's not as bad, but not ideal. I want to keep his blade here and then get as deep behind the neck with a thumb in grip. Once I have that grip, I can sink in the choke, pin my head for base. Okay, so a lot of these details I got for, from watching uh, Padre Gracie's uh, version of it over and over and I've added a few little details I feel like kind of work for me. Part of that is the uh, is, is the sitting a bit of an angle. I never saw him do that, but I kind of feel like that really helped me from getting rolled by, especially by bigger guys. So I come in here, I get, you know, I'll be bad. I want to come in loose down here. Just get it set, punch it through to loosen it, and just get my part of punching loose is being able to curl my hand up too and set my blade up against his neck. All right, then I'm going to pin his head to the mat and roll it over that hand, reaching deep for this grip and get the choke like that. So my finishing is like this. There's no, there's no rotational motion of my wrist. It's, it's this. Okay? All right. Thank you.